Here we see a project that the student team has constructed. It's an airflow control system using a uh, two-inch flange Fisher E-body control valve coupled to a PVC Venturi tube. We're measuring the differential pressure developed by that Venturi tube to infer flow. The motive power for the flow is actually a vacuum cleaner. We're sucking air through a vacuum cleaner and it makes for a very good use of a large control valve like this in our lab where we ordinarily don't have the capability to send enough fluid, enough liquid through that valve to really use its full flow capacity. But with air, it works marvelously well. And so we're using this as a flow control lab. And I'm showing you this because I wanted to illustrate, demonstrate something that's often difficult to see. And that's called a slip stick cycle. We have a valve here that has some friction in it. What that means is when you begin to apply an increasing signal, a decreasing signal, the stem of that valve does not smoothly move up and down. It tends to jerk a little bit. That has adverse effects on flow control, as you can well imagine. Let's say that your flow is not exactly at set point. The flow controller, the PID control system, sees that we're off of set point, and the integral action of that controller starts to ramp the valve either up or down, depending which side of set point we happen to be on. As it does so, the valve, of course, should respond to that changing output signal, but because it has some friction in it, it doesn't. It sticks. It remains in the same position. And then suddenly, there's enough air pressure finally built up on it that overcomes the friction and it slips to a new position and re-sticks again. What that does, of course, it makes the flow jump. So if the output was ramping up gradually, 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 and suddenly the control valve unsticks from the friction, slips to a new position and re-sticks, it means the flow rate now has suddenly jumped up. And that probably is going to put you over set point. So now the PID controller starts to ramp down, ramp down, ramp down. And of course, because the valve has friction again, it sticks where it's at until enough air pressure is relieved from the diaphragm that the spring is able to make it move down and it, and it unsticks and it slips and sticks in a new position, causing the flow to now be below set point. The result being you get this ramping up and ramping down of your output display on the graph for the PID controller. Meanwhile, the process variable signal tends to go up and down almost in a square wave fashion. That's what we have here to a small degree. It doesn't stick really bad, but it sticks enough that we can actually watch the valve uh, jerk up and down if I train the camera close to the valve stem position indicator. So I'm gonna fire up the vacuum cleaner, get this thing running in automatic mode, show you briefly the graph and how the uh, slip stick cycle manifests itself. Then we'll come over here and actually watch the valve try to maintain uh, flow, but fail to do so as it slips and sticks up and down. So here goes the vacuum cleaner. So coming over here, we can see the blue trend process variable. It's surrounding the red trend here, which is a set point. You can see how the process variable is cycling up and down above and below set point. It's not able to settle right on set point. The output here in green is clearly going up and down as well in kind of a sawtooth fashion. And so this is our typical slip stick cycle. Now it's difficult to see the exact shape of the waves, but uh, it's enough to know that this is what's happening here. And I'm gonna take the camera now and go over and show you the stem position on the valve. And although it'll be very loud next to the vacuum cleaner and I won't be able to talk into the video camera, you will be able to see the valve stem actually jump up and down. Even though it's getting a ramping response from the controller output, the stiction in that valve, the, the static and dynamic friction effects on that valve make the stem jump up and down slightly. We're gonna see that right now. There's my valve stem indicator right there. Just move down. Just move up. You can actually hear the positioner relieving some air. Down, up, down. You can also see a slight amount of motion right here. So although it's not pronounced, we do see the slip stick cycle manifesting itself 
as the valve is going up and down, oscillating, unable to hold exactly to the right position necessary to keep the flow at set point. This is a problem you cannot eliminate through PID tuning. You cannot go here and change your tuning parameters and eliminate this problem. All you can do is change the uh, amplitude and period of that cycle. So if I were to, for example, slow down my reset or my integral action, all that would do is take longer for the output to ramp up and down, and that would lengthen the period of this slip stick cycle. But it would not eliminate it. That's a very important thing to realize. A tendency among many technicians is to try to think they can correct for any instability through tuning. And here's a case where you cannot. The source of the instability is actually friction in the valve, and that must be repaired, that must be fixed, or else you're never going to get perfectly stable control out of the loop.